later. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam. No. I haven't looked at these in years. Oh, man, you know on Steam, they are relentless. I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, Ooh. with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. Now. We gotta find out what happened to our All co-workers, though. Were gone. What could it mean? Now we're gonna go... When Stanley came to a set of two... Open we're gonna go right. He entered... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this room was now too horrible even to consider. <laughs> okay, I mean, the room's not that great, if I'm being honest. It's not yes. that great. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. You act like I care about my co-workers. They say what up, and that's it. They keep it moving. Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Wow, that's how you feel? I'm gonna stay in here a little longer. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. And it's really gonna make me sit here and wait a long time without any dialogue. <laughs> this is fun game. I like it. Well, I got the message, man. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Oh, yeah. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Oh, you can do that. Should I do that to get back on track? Nah. We're going downtown. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. Yep. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, da, 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 da. From here, it's, um, left. He doesn't know. How do you not know, Mr. Narrator? I thought you... Oh, no. No, it's to the right. My mistake. You're really going to do this? This is really what we're doing right now? I'm going to go to the right door, and then you're going to be like, oh, whoops, my bad. Uh, you're really going to do this? You're like one of those people who, when you guys are trying to hop in the car to leave, they get in first, and then they lock the doors before you get in. It's like, dude, just let me in the car. Why are you being such a tramp? <laughs> Can you not be a tramp about this? I'm just trying to get in the car so we can leave. Boy, she's gonna do it. Bet, bet it up. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Oh, I'm gonna get run over? Is there anyone in the truck? Okay, thanks man, thanks, appreciate it. No, 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 this isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. <laughs> okay, man. All of his co-workers were gone. Yep, we get it. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. But say less. I get it. I get it. No, we get it. When Stanley... Wait. Wait. What? No. 
No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere, or... Uh... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Let's go. I'm feeling right, right. Let's find the story. We can go that way, but now nah, we're going to go this way. And then we'll hit up this way. And we're in a loop. Got it. Oh, no, I guess not. I suppose not. Oh. Oh, and this is the door. I'm not sure how I possibly could have. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game? No, dude, I got this. I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Okay. He had simply missed a memo. No doors, okay, great. Yep, it's worse. <laughs> I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Dude, stop the cab. Go back the other direction and see if we missed anything. Okay, um, don't think we're missing anything. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait, never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Okay. Gotcha. Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! Nice! You put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. What? Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, that's fair. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. Same. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. Okay. All right, I've got a... The Stanley Parable Adventure sure Line. Lost, I've employed the help... <laughs> of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Trademark. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Okay. Just follow the line. Why, why would I do that, though? You have a door going straight. Whatever, I'm down for adventure. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Huh. So by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Oh, 
Okay, they got the bars. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Um. Check it. Um. Yo. Um. Uh. Um. Uh. Yo. Um. Uh. Hey. Um. Uh. What? Ooh. Yeah. Uh. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Oh, we can go this way? I guess not. Corporate imbalances, monthly ledgers, financial records, consolidation reports, annual reviews, departmental accounts, personal files, or personnel files. Um, yeah, um, yeah, um, check it, yo. Cut the music. What? Back. Dude. Look at that fern. The fern? Stanley. This fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Okay, I'm studying. I'm studying. I'm looking. It looks pretty plain. Pretty plain, not gonna lie. And let's keep going. Uh-oh. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Oh, no, 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 not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trust you, We? After everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. Oh, my goodness, Line. You're killing me, Line. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting. Uh, I don't want to make up the story. Sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Fine, man, we'll listen. We'll listen this time, I suppose. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want us Wait, to- Wait, we're just gonna go right forever? World. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. This man is tripping. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, Can they trademark you? <laughs> to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. Well, I gotta follow the where it's going. Okay, there we go. Wait, did it crash through the ceiling? How can the line do that? Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. I'm However, going left. We mustn't left. the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? No. Nope. And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Oh, so we don't get an option. So you lied to me. Oh, hold up, what's this? Oh. Hmm. The confusion the ending. ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game for eight, eight Wait, times? wait, wait. That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing. Wow, the narrator is gone and Stanley dies? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I'd... 
I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the timer d stopped? Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? Maybe. How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if... I'm on board with that. ...or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... The end is never the end is never the end. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. Okay, that's a different dialogue option. And I'm looping? Am I looping? No, new content? <laughs> well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> new content? What does that mean, new content? They got me. They got me with the new content. I can't lie. They got me, okay? They got me. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. Okay. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Okay. Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Probably not. We're, oh, we're trapped in here now. Great. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, there we go. All right, finally, <laughs> at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Okay, let's see. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if them. Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. All right. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. I have to jump 34 times? Okay. I can't jump anymore? Aww, man, I'm disappointed. Is, is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Goodness, another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Mm. I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Same. It? Thank you for enjoying the new content. Are you kidding me? You see, Stanley? 
This is what happens oh, when man. video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. Facts. It started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. Oh, it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the stand- Oh my god, no! No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Friend? Okay. We're not at the beginning, but... Psst! Stanley! Come over here! In the vent! I want to show you something. What do you want to show me, dude? What about up here? There's stuff going on up uh, here. You don't want to see the cool surprise I made for you? Well, fine. You're a dork anyway, so who cares? Wow. See, that's how you really feel? See, I was gonna, I, was, I just wanted to see. I was gonna go that way. But since you called me a dork, I'm still gonna go that way. No, never mind. You're not a dork. You got us. You got us. What is this? Coffee nut? What is a cool surprise? What's, what's the- Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new ultra deluxe content turned out to be. Okay. Thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. I call it the memory zone. Oh, okay. I'm storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? <laughs> Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. Our first kiss, my first car, the release of the Stanley Parable in 2013. <laughs> oh my goodness. 2013 okay that's the theme 2013 what a time it's crazy that this game came out when i was in high school what was i a G no i guess a sophomore i think i was playing the batman arkham games around this time arkham city is a classic and over here is where i keep reviews of the stanley parable like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. Cap. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. Cap. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Oh, they mentioned Skyrim and Persona 3. Why not 4? Was 4 a flop? Or was 3 just that legendary? I only played 5. Persona 5, oh, so good. And Persona 5 Royal, oh, even better. How do you make a game even better? That's already like amazing. Man, I got to replay that if I'm being honest. 
Memory zone maintenance. We don't want that. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Okay. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Okay, I feel it. The serious room. Okay, can I go in there? That's great. What is this? Is this really from GameSpot? <laughs> they did not take a screenshot of the review. I'm dead. <laughs> That's crazy. Shout out to GameSpot, because I'm sure they had to sign off on this. Or maybe they didn't. Okay, Carolyn. Carolyn likes to venture off the beaten path in life as well as in the game. But unfortunately, the narrator in her head isn't nearly as witty as the one in the Stanley Parable. Facts. My head narrator is... He's not as sharp. I I'll give it to him. He's not as sharp. Not as witty. <sighs> These were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait. Hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Okay. L let's find out. Oh, is this oh, the no. is this the dump of the game? Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. No. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Oh man, you know on Steam, they are relentless. They will review bomb the shit out of your game if you're not careful. Okay. I like how the good one is behind the thing. The whatever. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny Ooh. with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Um Funny. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights. Okay. I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. <laughs> That's true. If I'm being honest, it's kind of hard for me to add additional dialogue to this game because he talks so much. There's no space in between his sentences for me to be like, oh, word, that's crazy. You know, I just kind of have to let him just go off and talk. And plus, what he has to say is usually more interesting than what I have to add to the conversation. So, yeah. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, mm -hmm. For someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? I mean... You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. I mean... This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always... Well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure, like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Aw, that's kind of dope. Is this a real person? That's dope if you include real people's reviews in your um, in your game. That's that's dope. So what does it say? While the idea of the game is good, it becomes very repetitive and boring fast, despite all the alternative endings and game cameo appearances. This game is titled Thought Provoking, but you'll get the idea that it tries to communicate pretty fast, and then it is just repeating the whole no choice in games thing over and over again. For someone who prefers nonlinear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast, and it is neither a revelation nor very interesting it is thought provoking only in the first minutes <laughs> oh man he came with the heat with that one okay i guess we gotta go down here what does this one say what's this one got to say do, 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 do. you constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations <laughs> of what's happening i wish there was a skip button a skip button well well yes Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. 
Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. What is this? Anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Okay, so we're doing a skip button now? And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you, with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people. And if the people- I want to see how long they'll keep talking. That's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue, and it goes something like this. The story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so on, <sighs> until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once, so, now you see, blah, 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 we've eaten too much and it can't be just yet, no, no, until 245, that the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture, it went on for nearly 10,000 years, until until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say... The story, and the choices, or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once, so, now you see, blah 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 I'm responding to a comment. Uh, is it? Luisia, Luisi's Salise? I don't know how to pronounce her name. Got the logic of Wait, can you see it? You can't even see it. Therefore, becomes impossible to. Can we focus? Went on for nearly ten thousand years. Anyway, I'm responding to a comment with emojis and text and stuff. But I don't think this dude's gonna stop talking before I hit the skip button. So let me just send this comment and then I'll, I'll you know. The story. You know. He is really going to keep going until I hit the skip button. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, man. I'm done responding to comments, man. What's good? Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. Or maybe a manifesto. Look, I'll outline it for you very briefly and you can tell me what you think. Okay. So my theory is that any choice you've ever made is simply a series of choices made by the person who you are or were or will be at the time of having made said choice. Okay. That is to say, if by articulating a choice you've already made, you bring that choice into being, then by making no choice and saying nothing, are you not simply erecting in the sanctuary of time a monument to every person you've ever been, making every choice to which you've ever given your great gift of mortal and yet timeless thought? Or rather, do all of the choices you've ever made in fact make you more not this kind of person and in fact do the very opposite? You see, it could in fact be both of these things at once that you are both making choices and not making choices, and that they are both affecting you and not affecting you at the same time. Okay. True of the fact that you both are and are not making them. Okay, at first, I was leaning towards manifesto, but now I'm going to circle around and slap the treatise label on this one. I think it has much more of a treatise vibe to it. But wouldn't you say that manifesto just... Oh, do I have to just keep skipping what he has to say? It has a mouthfeel that is rich with ambition and history. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. 
The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will say about this, and whether they'll edit Cookie the nine. Steam review, or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first place. I guess I should become better educated on exactly how Steam works. Perhaps that would have been the smart thing to check on before I... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? It's not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. <laughs> Stanley! Stanley! What? Stanley, please what? push the button again. It's been 12 hours. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no Beautiful. idea how long I'll be made to sit here. And more than anything else, I don't know how... Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. It's dark. Oh, goodness, I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. For two weeks? <laughs> I've been sitting here all that time, just sitting here, not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't, Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. Okay. I needed there to be a vessel through which my words were moving. It was the vessel I needed, Stanley. Not the outcomes, not the story. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. I'll give up every brunching path. I'll burn my story to the ground. One single thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else is taking it in. These words that I'm saying, I need to know you can hear me. Because maybe, Stanley, maybe, if you can hear me, then maybe it means I'm real. What? Maybe I'm not just a fiction. Was I scared of that all along? That's great. This game is wild. Perhaps I've been scared this whole time that if I stop speaking, I'll slip backwards into the silence and be consumed by it. I can't be taken by it, Stanley. I can't lose myself in the stretch of emptiness between you and me. When you press that button, you're still right there, but I know you're so tremendously far away. Aww. In those moments, the emptiness folds itself outward in between the two of us and I am suspended in its unyielding quietness. I can feel the edges of my reality curdling inward and decaying. I can tell that I am becoming less and less real. Yet to speak to you now, I am alive. I am truly and completely here. I am a being. I am someone. I am something. I am being listened to. I am being recognized. The emptiness between us has collapsed, and I feel right now like I am not a world. I feel as though I occupy space in this world again, and I have cast a shadow onto the wall. You see what I'm saying, don't you? You can see what this means to me. I'm so clear about it now, Stanley. I feel as certain about this as I've ever felt about any. Yo, my man, I'm gonna need you to shut the fuck up. Holy shit. As you will press the Are you still talking, bro? I cannot believe you can just keep going on talking about absolutely nothing, bro. Together here for just a moment. Just shut up. Stop talking, man. Does not run from it. Thank you, please. Thank you. Skip. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. 
I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days, months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. All of them collapsed down into a single instant. In that instant, I could see myself clearly, calmly, with a collected heart. It was an impossibly rich wellspring of both delight and disgust simultaneously. I was consumed. I could do nothing but wallow in it for what felt like an eternity, for what I now know was far less. You see, it was a revelation for me. It was unlike anything I had ever known. It was a space without consequence, without action or outcome. It was divorced entirely from the question of free will that you and I have squabbled over for so long. There could be no one ending, no singular outcome of events, not if all events existed in the same moment, and I felt freed. I felt unburdened by the need to manifest a particular outcome into being. I saw that I could allow myself to exist among all timelines, and that each of them was simply a strand in the web of my being. It was incredible. The spaciousness, the equanimity of the moment, both singular and mm. For the longest time, this was my experience. And then, this moment passed, and the most unyielding thing I have ever known crept into my mind. And it is this sensation that- Are you done, dude? Are you done? Finally! Can get some quiet in this bitch. I guess hit it again. Clock fell off the wall. Bomb is about to go off, as you can clearly hear. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. Mm. It wasn't enough. Mm. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much. They said, first, he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the it's world. It's the internet, As man. There were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's assessment of others. It's, of course, it's the internet, man. Anyone can leave a review. So here's what we get. We get these demands that seek everything and are accountable to nothing. We get a world where someone will say, oh, there should be a skip button. You should be able to freeze Stanley in place while the narrator sits there forever and ever. We want all of this in the new Stanley parable. We demand it. And then, because it was said, because it was spoken, now it simply has to happen. Yeah. The most immediate desires, every single thing demanded by every person at every moment in time. If someone wants it, then it's a crime not to bring it into being. Have we been given to indulging every fleeting whim for no reason other than to do so? Yes. Yes. It seems that this is now the world we live in. The end is never 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 Are you good bro? Never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end Never the end is never the end is never the end never the end is 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 never the the end is never the end is never is never the end end is never the end is never the end never the end is never the is never the end is never the end is never is never the end the end is never is never the end end is never the end is never the end is never the end is
All right, man. Can we just get on? Can we get on with this, man? Oh, it's it's decaying. Uh, gotcha. All right. <laughs> Grass and stuff started to grow, or vegetation, I should say. What, now an apocalypse happened? The world ended? No sunlight? Wait, what? We can leave? Wait, but will the button uncompress? It won't? All right, we're going outside. We are going outside. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's been this long. How did this building survive and nothing else did? What? We can't hit skip still? All right, well, I guess we're wandering in the desert forever. Let's get it. We might as well get started. Every great journey begins with a single step. We're just gonna keep walking. Kiss me, not my lips. Ignorance is bliss, medicine, and that's a kiss.